For the first time in 20 years, Ontario's English Catholic teachers have traded cozy classrooms for a wintry walkout. I'm Christina Howard, and today Ontario's English Catholic teachers are engaged in a strike action. And so are teachers in Ontario's public schools and public high schools. But for the Catholic teachers, their strike today is province-wide. <laughs> They're joining their counterparts from public elementary and high schools who've been conducting rotating one-day strikes at specific boards. Today, well over a half million students are out of class, including 575,000 from Catholic schools alone. At issue, increased class sizes, mandatory e-learning, a commitment to maintain full-day kindergarten in its current form, and pay, with at least one teacher's union seeking a cost-of-living increase of about 2%, and the government legislating a 1% wage cap. OECDA, OSSTF and ECFO are not even at the table with the government, but the Catholic teachers are hopeful that could soon change. Ideally, they would put the staffing levels back um, and so that we can continue to offer the, the incredible education system we've been offering for students. Um, that would certainly trigger us back at that table. We said we would postpone the strike. We said it two weeks ago, last week and this week, if they just committed to last year's education worker and teacher staffing ratios. Both OSSTF and OECTA have said that if the government can say we'll maintain class sizes at last year's level, that they would be happy to get back to bargaining. I think what it takes is a willing partner, and I don't think we've seen that yet. The unions, especially OSSTF, has been very consistent that we need to agree to all of their demands up front before they're going to sit down and bargain with us or have a conversation with us. That may have been the case before, but now some union leaders say simply maintaining classroom sizes would start the conversations. OSSTF last met with the mediator in mid-December. OECDA last met with the mediator two weeks ago. And now with the Toronto, Peel and several other school boards announcing that elementary school students won't be receiving their first term report cards, the pressure for a deal is increasing. Are you hopeful that a deal can be reached in the next couple of weeks? Well, I'm always hopeful. I'm a Catholic teacher. That's what we do. So, no, I, I mean, I'm always hopeful. And we will continue to be hopeful and we'll continue to push and move for that. But it takes two. Now, both Ontario's public high school teachers and Catholic high school teachers have agreed to not continue their strikes during exam period, which means this will likely be the last strike day for at least another week and a half. In Mississauga, Christina Howarn, City News.